Hi, Park Ranger Marty from Jurassic Quest. And we're having a lot of fun today at Jurassic Quest preparing for the solar eclipse. But it made me wonder, how did dinosaurs deal with the sun? And how did they use it to their advantage? Because the sun is a giant ball of gas. It's hydrogen building into helium at a temperature of millions of degrees, to quote a very famous song. But the sun can have negative effects. For instance, if we stay out in the sun too long, we may get sunburned. So how would dinosaurs deal with that kind of exposure to the sun? Well, some of them we know are like birds because birds are technically dinosaurs. And some dinosaurs would have had feathers just like birds do. And those feathers would have protected the skin from the sun itself. It would have been an outer layer to protect the actual skin from it. Other dinosaurs were a little more reptilian in their skin and they would have built up thick hides to protect themselves from the sun. So that's protecting yourself from the sun. But some of them might have actually been using the sun to their advantage in different ways. For instance, some of those dinosaurs with feathers may have had iridescent feathers. And those feathers would be using the sun and reflecting its light to actually create a more spectacular display to attract a mate. Other dinosaurs may have used the sun for body temperature regulation. It is speculated that perhaps one of the possible uses of the plates of a Stegosaurus were actually to regulate its body temperature because we know those plates had blood vessels going into them. So the animal might have been able to angle itself where the side of those plates catch the sun and catch as much rays as possible to warm the blood. And perhaps they had to go face forward or tail forward into the sun to expose as little of those plates to the sun. And then the wind blowing through them might have cooled them off like a radiator. One dinosaur that may have also been doing that is Spinosaurus. Now Spinosaurus we think was spending a lot of its time in the water. And typically if you're in water, you lose heat to that water. Even if it's the same temperature as your body temperature, you're still losing heat to that water. But not if you've got a giant solar panel on your back. And that may have been one of the ways that Spinosaurus used that sail. Another hypothesis is that he might have been doing a little eclipse of his own. So Spinosaurus, if he's floating in water and uh, trying to get fish, what he might have been doing is floating in a way so that sail cast a shadow on the water next to it. Now, what happens then? Well, we know that small fish will swim into shady areas to hide. And larger fish will swim in to eat them. And larger fish will swim in to eat them. So he just sits there waiting for something large enough to be a good meal to come by and snap. An easy way to hunt prey. And that's a very smart way to use the sun. So the sun affects us all, and I hope you're affected and have a great time watching the solar eclipse. All right, Park Ranger Marty from Jurassic Quest. Have fun, guys.